welcome guys okay and if you look at c panel like we have admin panels for uh server management uh probably you are using c panel which is the most popular or you are using centos web panel cwp you are using webbuzo which is a single account user or you are going to probably look at webmin and any other uh, web panel solutions that you are looking forward to use uh, in 2021 and beyond. You need to look at the pricing and look at some little introduction to how it can be easy for you to manage. And I'm going to recommend a server that can help you set these tools up at a, at a click. Okay. Uh, my name is Fetuga Majid, and if you are new to this channel, kindly please click the subscribe button and turn up the notification. So let us get started. Cpanel would be increasing their pricing come 2021. And this is uh, the price for solo accounts, which is a single user account, okay, and that is $15 per month for one you account and we have the admin that gives you uh $20 per month uh you can have up to five accounts on that uh we have uh the pro that gives you up to 30 accounts and uh, you'll be paying $20 uh per month and we have up to 100 accounts and you uh have $45 uh per month and if you look at this it is more or less uh, you paying 20 cents okay but this price would soon be increased and that is why you need to consider that option okay at starting from january 1 1st of january 2021 which will be tomorrow from this recording okay yes tomorrow okay <laughs> uh, we'll be looking at i know a new price 22 dollars $32, forty-eight dollars. Uh, there's uh, $22.25, uh, $32.25, $48.50. Okay, but having said this, what is the guide if you are to make use of uh, C uh, Contable, if you still want to make use of Contable? Let me explain something here that outside C panel, we also have other admin panel that you can make use of and cwp is one of those that i really see as convenient and it's okay okay uh we are also have webuzo i've done videos on webuzo in on my channel and uh, i would be doing videos on cpanel and webme uh but if you just want to make use of c uh webme and cwp so if you just want to make use of cpanel and uh, you don't want to go through any stress of the installation the licensing and everything i recommend that you consider uh contabo contabo is a server provider that has a very cheap server solution and it is good affordable and they have the history to back up their services contabo solution is very very okay if you are interested in this please kindly make use of my there is an affiliate link in the description to contable it's not going to add any penny to your cost it's just going to appreciate uh me uh without putting any burden on you so i beg of you to make use of that but that being said i have done quite number of videos explaining contable and how uh, what you should know about contable server and of course even on my website i did explanations on that so let me just briefly explain now when we say server server can be you know categorized under two okay the managed server and the unmanaged server okay when we say managed server means that the server itself which is the you know storage facility okay is being managed by the server provider now managed server refers to the contents the situation of the content of your server okay now if you are to install uh, using any other server providers they may give you some support 
if they render managed server solutions like you want to click this you want to install these tools you want to do some things they can give you support then we have on managed server they provide your server they support you on your server but on your content the content within the server your applications your your tools within your server it's your own matter your you have to get it done by yourself all they will provide is that your server is up and running your server is okay okay but your content in fact they will not even have access to your login details once it is issued they you know delete it okay so it's now your own edict to manage your server by yourself and that is on managed server your server is up and up and going up and running and if you have any issues concerning the server the addicts the hardware or the running the uh, the they download the bandwidth or anything you really have on that server they will still support you but on the content you are on your own uh, why on the managed end they will support you on your server they will also support you on your content okay like you want to install wordpress and it's not going they are going to do that for you you want to set up your lamp okay your linus apache uh, mysql and php they can do some support for you either ways we have managed server and on managed server now contable uh, to the most of the time has issues of facilities that surround like on managed server once your server is online once your server is going once they send you your support your login details the only support they can give you is when your server has problem which they would definitely give you but you want to install something they will give you resource guide they will give you some support and they would recommend that probably you can start another thing because your your unmanaged server your unmanaged uh, your content is being managed by you not by them as against managed servers where your content is managed by you and they give you total support on your content and on your server so one of the things is that you have to do a bit of learning curve if you want to make use of this server they provide the server server is okay and it is very very okay and it's even cheap okay and one of the reasons is that you are not you are fo they are focusing on one solution we want to give you the best server and the best server that comes up 24 7 has no downtime at all and the bandwidth is unlimited and that is one of the things they give and that is one of their uh, value proposition okay well managing your content is your own matter and they will only give you guides and what have you their support is also available so let me just give you a guide to picking this ssd server space and if you go online and you check uh if you google and you just check the difference between ssd and h uh dd s s d uh, versus a and h d d so you can see you can see uh why this you can see there will there will be diff there will be information with regards to these two tools why one is in this this is h d d why this is SSD? This is like a card, and your files are very, very intact. And if you go through the analysis, you will see that this is better and more lasting, easy to use, and has no downtime than this. Okay, let us just leave that matter. So, once you come to this and you want to pick any of these packages, and you can make use of their, you can consider their options. And uh, let me just pick this. Uh, the list that goes for 4.99 euros per month, which is very, very ridiculous. And you see the packages you have uh, on it. Now, one of the things you can do is these are the operating system available that you can select that they will configure your server for. And of course, since OS 8, as end of life by 2021 which means don't install sent os 8 do not install sent os 8 or else you want to migrate after installation 
and that will be dub work. So just go with Cent OS 7 that has end of life up to 2024 or thereabouts. So you can do that. You pick Cent OS 7 or you pick any other uh, distros of uh, of Linus and if you uh you need to first of all consider what admin panel are you installing the admin panel you are going to install will determine what operating system your server should be configured on and that is one of the things you should consider very very important uh if you have any questions on this you can put in the comments and if you feel like you still want to further clarify my description my information is in the this my information is in the description i'm willing to give you support now one of the things you can do is you can click on uh, seed panel and whn and the list is five accounts which will still go for 12.95 pound euros 12.95 euros let me just say 12.95 euros to dollars. I want to compare that to uh, what's called. So we have, let us say we have $16. And that means uh, this price that you see for $20, that will be increased to $22, okay, come 2021. And I don't know, Contabo has not made any increase on their own. And if they should, if they do, I will do an update of this video. So that means that you are saving uh, more than four dollars on each uh, what's it called package. Likewise, on this where we have thirty accounts for thirty dollars. If you come to, you can just click thirty account. That is seventeen point three six. 17.36 up to up to up to ten dollars up to ten dollars you are saving if you make use of contabo license for your c panel you are saving up to ten dollars because this is in euro and uh, the installation is there's no fee charge for setup you are not paying anything for setup you are only going to pay for the license utility uh, on a monthly basis. And that means that you can pay uh, up to uh, 22 22.35 euros per month. And if you now pick it up per annum, uh, you can pay up to like 263.2 euros uh, per annum, which if you convert that to Naira, Okay, even if you convert this amount to Naira, I mean Nigeria, you are spending less than 130,000 Naira. Then they are going to get to a server, they are going to get to a license of cPanel, and you can set up for 30 accounts. 30 cPanel accounts can be installed within this uh, WHM of 200 gig and of course if you if you have to do the calculation we have 200 gig and we have availability of 30 accounts so it means that you can break it down uh by just saying okay how many gig will each account use that will be around six point something let us do the calculation 200 gig uh divided by 30 accounts or six panel we have let probably up to like six gig okay and uh, you can say okay this two is okay it's not okay you can decide to say okay but an average installation an average installation of wordpress if you are to install wordpress if that is the site you really want to cms solution you want to install cms solution wordpress will just take 45 megabytes okay that is the size of the files so there are some little startup sites that you can build uh with this server solution and having this complete package for uh an average of probably fifty thousand error let me just say that and if you 
if you are to set up a server installing WordPress and you are building a website for 50,000 error, okay, and you have 30 accounts available, so that will be uh, 1.5 1.5 million. Okay, and what you pay annually to manage that is just uh, less than 130,000. Okay, of course, there is always learning curve and you have to do some management and whatever you. So you see that you'll be able to manage your server, you'll be able to set up your business, you'll be able to build website for clients, even at five gig, yes, five gig, and you will still be able to do a lot with your uh, your your work because then on this now you have to still charge for domain and you charge for the design the installation the template and whatever you provided if you are making use of uh, WordPress or any CMS solution so having said this I think I've been able to explain to you that if you want to be cost effective uh, instead of you to get an empty server and uh, then install your cPanel, then come and buy a license here at a cost. You can actually come use the link in the description, come to Contabo, select uh, a package, and you can select any other packages. There are other packages available, but please, I, I recommend that you select out of these SSD packages uh, better than this uh, HDD or HDD plus boost. So you can select any of these packages and you have so much opportunity to do a lot. You have, you can see this 400 gig, uh, CIS, uh, CPU core. So you have a lot and uh, to, to uh, get at the same cost, even if you pick this, it's always the same cost and you can do a lot. And of course, like if you are making use of C, w, uh, C panel WHM, the only option you can select is OS 7, okay, which is one of the things you should note. Uh, if you have found some values from this, and of course, if you need any support, like one-on-one -on -one charts, probably if there's something learning curve, feel free to chat me up. My description, my information is in the description. And if you have found some values from this guide, explaining why if you are licensing your cPanel, make use of uh, default license uh from contabo uh if you have found sh kindly share this video and uh give it a thumbs up if there's any question please put in the description uh comment section rather and i would be glad to read from you and uh come 2021 okay we'll be looking at uh some of the panels that are also very good and uh we just need to really see uh, some of the information like this CWP CentOS web uh, panel. Okay, we are going to focus on some of them 2021. God willing, all the best.